Welcome back. It's time for our Friday film review and mix an atomic bomb, <laughs> a prehistoric reptile and a little mass destruction <laughs> and you get oh a boy. new Godzilla film. <laughs> <laughs> and our film critic, the one and only Ben Edelman is joining us in studio for yes. our first look at the newest movie out, the installment yeah. of the long running series. Ben, what can people expect to see from Godzilla? I love Godzilla movies. <laughs> I've How seen many so are there? many of them. There's like 30 something. Oh, yeah. this is a long running franchise. Even the beginning of this movie reminded us that it's been 70 years that they've been making these movies. That's, That's a incredible. Very long time. It's awesome. And, you know, my favorite ones come from like the 90s and 2000s. It's like these monster brawls and, you know, these space monsters come in and these fairies and it's just goofy, like Saturday morning cartoon vibe. <laughs> but what people always kind of forget but need to remember is that Godzilla. Is, was a metaphor for like the atomic bomb dropping oh, on Japan yeah. during the war. So mm -hmm. when that first movie came out in 1954, that's what it was all about. It was about Japan reckoning in a post-World World War situation. And Godzilla Minus One kind of brings us back to that time. It's been a while since the Godzilla movie has had this much of a thematic and emotional focus on World War II and the atomic bomb. This goes back to World War II here. It follows a Japanese soldier who kind of is like dealing with the fact that he has abandoned his post at the end of the war. Everyone's recovering from the destruction of the war and now they have this new threat to Godzilla and everyone's kind of angry at the government for what they felt was not valuing valuing their lives during the war oh. so the citizens are able to come together and sort of have a self-actualization moment where they can still protect their country but also value their own lives and it's just a really fun movie actually but it's also really emotionally centered and thematically focused there's a lot of humans in this movie I know people always in these moss movies are like I want more monsters I yeah. want less humans but the human story is engaging enough here to actually carry the film. <laughs> Well, in monster movies, in Godzilla movies, you know, obviously everyone wants to know what it looks like. How did this, did it live up to expectations? Yes, the design of these creatures is always a big thing for fans. And honestly, it looked really cool. So yeah, I was happy with the design. And something that really stood out in this movie, you know, Godzilla has this atomic breath that just kind of shoots out. <laughs> it's this blue laser. And in most of the movies, it just kind of shoots out and explodes <laughs> things, which is great. You know, you got to love that. But in this one, this is the first time in recent memory where that breath has acted like the dropping of a nuclear weapon. It will, Whoa. that breath hits, it's like instant incineration mm. and then just a ripple effect. It literally felt like an atomic bomb going off and that kind of just nails in that metaphor for what Godzilla represents. Wow, so I feel weird that there's 30 plus of these movies <laughs> yeah. and I have never seen one. Oh my gosh, um, fun. I know, I really need to get on it. But if you're a first time movie, movie viewer to this series, mm -hmm. you know, like myself, would you recommend it? Uh, you know, I've been thinking about that since I saw this last night and I wouldn't recommend seeing this necessarily as your first Godzilla okay. movie. I would say go back to 1954, See the original, see the original puppet. Oh, wow. It's really exciting. There's the puppet right there. He looks really fun. <laughs> and um, I also think 2003 has one called Tokyo SOS. And Shin Godzilla from 2016 is also really exciting. I also love the Mecha Godzilla movies because what's what's better than a robot Godzilla? You know? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. <laughs> There's nothing better. That's the answer. And yeah, you know, Godzilla minus uh, minus one is out in theaters right now. It comes from Japan. There's also an American series happening simultaneously. So next year we'll get Godzilla versus King Kong. Cool. That's where people will get well, their monster brawls one. again. But you know, for this one, if you want an emotionally engaging, human-focused story dealing with elements of World War II, you're gonna get that here in Godzilla. Minus one. Good to know. I'm Thank always you. excited to see these movies, and then we have Ben on, and now it goes yeah. up there. So, yeah, Godzilla, I'm going to have to check it out. Thank you, Ben. Yes. Well, coming up in our next half hour, we're checking back in with Rob Wells with more on a new behavioral health pavilion in Sarasota. But first, let's head over to Investigate TV Plus to see what's coming up today at 3 30.